Hello everybody and welcome to day 15 of my beginner sewing course. We are halfway there, day 15 out of 30, so if you're still here, good job, you did it. Well, you didn't do it, but like you're on the way there. So if you're still here, I'm very proud of you. Keep going. Today we're going to be learning how to do a French seam. And if you don't know what a French seam is, it's basically just um, a fancy seam where you hide the raw edge between your fabric, kind of like you're sandwiching it, uh, so you don't see it anymore and it's a great alternative if you don't have a serger. Doing a French seam is very easy but you cannot use it on curves you have to use it on straight lines so just make sure uh, you keep that in mind and let's get into it. Okay so when you're doing a French seam it's very important that instead of putting the pieces right sides together you put them wrong sides together so these two pieces are the wrong side and they're together. So now, if your pattern calls for half inch seam allowance, you're going to divide that in half and that'll give you one quarter inch seam allowance. And let's say that's your edge, you're going to sew along that edge right here. So quarter inch seam allowance. After that, you're going to place your pieces right sides together and that um, seam right here is gonna be sandwiched. So you're going to press that and then sew again using another quarter inch seam allowance, which will give you a total of a half inch seam allowance. I'm just going to pin these pieces real quick to make it easier. And now let's take it to the sewing machine. So here I'm just using a regular straight stitch. And like I said before, I'm going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back tack every time. back tack at the end as well should look like this and uh, now we're gonna iron that seam open so it's very important that you iron your seams open not just after a French seam but like for every single seam so start by opening it and then pressing it Now you're going to fold your fabric right sides together because remember when we sewed it, we sewed it wrong sides together. And just finger press this. So now the pieces are right sides together and we are going to be pressing them. So now the seam is flat. You can pin this again to make sure nothing moves. And now what you're gonna do is just sew along that edge again using once again a quarter inch seam allowance that is going to sandwich um, that raw edge between the two layers. So just like before, we are going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance, a back stitch. In the end, um, this is going to give us a total of a half inch seam allowance. So we are following what your pattern asks for, but we're just making the seam prettier. Let me just take these pins out. And there you go. This is your seam allowance. This is your seam, looks very pretty. And this is the inside of your garment. Now you see why people like to use the seam. It's because it looks super professional. But like I said before, only use it when you're sewing straight because on curves, it's just not gonna look good. What you should do now is press that seam allowance. So there you go. Now you know how to do a French seam. Like I told you, it's super easy. Just make sure that like you did the math correctly because right here it's really easy. Like what's half of half an inch 
it is a quarter inch but maybe that's not what your seam allowance is going to be so just make sure you do the math right and for your homework just practice your french seams with different seam allowances so that you practice like your math skills as well so i will see you in the next one